Yo, what's new everybody? In this video, we're gonna continue the off-road build and we're gonna throw on a roof rack. Welcome back everybody and thanks for watching, it's Doug. I've been thinking about what the next step for this build would be and I thought maybe a roof rack would be pretty useful. I'm an outdoors kind of human. Uh, I like doing like rec sports, but owning a car it's kind of hard trying to haul around a snowboard a bike or anything in general so today we're going to solve all those problems and get started with the install it's going to be the setup we went with guys it's a yakima q tower setup um, if you're like me i like saving a couple of bucks so i went on offer up and i picked up the rack for pretty cheap i have the fairing right there we got the two poles they're not that bad of condition, but we'll work with them. Um, we'll probably get some new end caps for the ends right there. Um, pretty much four new ones on both sides, but we'll do that later. I ended up painting these actual towers, so they look pretty much brand new again. We had to get some extra parts off the web so it'll fit my car. So for mostly all the Imprezas, they run these clips they're 78 so we picked a couple up off eBay we picked some used ones up off rerack.com so that's a good place to look for your stuff we got some new pads some new vinyl stickers right there for the actual clips and I ended up finding two of these bike racks right here they look pretty much new so we're gonna throw those on top as well so that's going to be the setup I'm running, guys. Uh, go down in the comments below. Uh, let me know uh, what rack or setup you guys are running on your guys' cars. And uh, shoot me over some recommendations on either like some mounts I can use or some mods that you guys did to your system or even some useful tips that I'd really like to know. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, apply these vinyl stickers to the clips. It's going to help prevent any rubbing on your car. The that I can speak to. Next step is getting the key lock, the clip, and the latch together. So we're gonna grab the clip, the latch. You're gonna slide this through the back right there, so it goes into these little grooves right here. We're gonna get the key lock right here and line it up with these little holes. There's a groove right there. So when we put it through the back, you're gonna want to get this nice and aligned, so it pretty much slides in. And then you grab the little clip right here slide this guy down so it keeps it nice and sturdy and the clip should be nice and good right there so our next step guys is going to be getting the towers connected to the poles if you go to yakima's uh, website like i have right here it's going to give you the different measurements so like the measurements between the front of these it's going to be the inner side of both of these from the front pole you're going to have a different measurement for the back side of your car from the both insides as well we're gonna have another measurement, basically like a starting point. So from your back of your windshield to the front post of this for the front one. And then after that, you can measure the distance between both of these. So their website actually gives you all the four distances that you're gonna need. So if you just look up your certain car, it should show you all the measurements you're gonna need. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the measurements that fit my car so if you have the same one down in the description so it'll be easier for you to find. Now just stick on all these little pads that you got. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this bad boy up. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and measure the front of here to the front of the pad. I'm gonna use some tape to throw a line across so you can have a reference point on where to mount it. So 
Now that the first part looks pretty much even, we're gonna go ahead and throw on the clips on the side. Got everything pretty much tightened down. Just give it like a nice shake and it should be pretty firm. Just want to try to get those screws even on both sides just so the pressure is the same. So if you pull one too tight, it'll start pulling this way more so the gap between that will just be different from the other side. So just try to keep it even. And now we're just going to repeat the same steps on to the back side and add the bike mounts. these latches down so no one messes with your car and then we're going to throw on the deflector in the front and then the two bike racks on top. Here you go guys, this is going to be the end result right here. I ended up putting these little straps right here just to hold the mount down when there's no bikes on top. And this is pretty much what it looks like. Thanks again for watching guys. Click down below if you want to thumb wrestle. If you like the build and want to continue to see the progress, hit that sub and we'll see you next time.